Let's get it, family. About to go down here at the journey, going down 100% at the journey, you know. What more can I say? What more can I say? Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know I'm late. You ain't got to tell me. Everything was closed down, and I I didn't want to get up out of bed. I'm serious. I didn't want to get up out of bed. Lay down, listen to a book. And I... I know, cause I, I know some of y'all that's been listening. No, I've been listening to a lot of um, Afro futuristic tales. So I'm trying to wrap my mind around how to take Giame into that realm of media. You know what I'm saying? Cause we already got we 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 got we got our tales, but how? You know what I'm saying? How do I grow that? I, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, yo, because this shit is hot. It's hot. Let's get started. Without any further ado, grab your glass. Get off your ass. Let's get it. Can we get it? No? Got 
got it and it's clean. Got it. Lift your picture up. Got that picture of water fresh. Get that picture of Come on now. Uh-huh. Simply pour some water. Drink, 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 drink. Drink Or should I say, lift, pour, then drink. Now move your body and drink There's some jumping jacks. Move your uh, body. Who knows on? Move your body. Who knows rings? Move your body. Who knows rings? Move your body and drink some Come water. On. Bam. Loosen up. Just move Stretch. your body. Ah. Drink. Come on, take drink. a drink. Drink. Drink with me. Come on. Drink your water. Or should water. I say, move, move, then move your body, drink. Move your, your body. body. Now raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Raise that glass, come on now. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Toast those ancestors, come on now. Raise your glass and let's toast your ancestors. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Bam. Just raise your glass. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Or should water. I say, raise, toast, then drink. Take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath. Got it? Lift and pour yourself some Lift water. Lift and pour. Move your body, drink some water. Move it. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Breathe, lift, move, toast. But remember to stay healthy. Remember the four pillars. Breathe, drink, eat, move. Drink half your weight in ounces. Eat a culturally appropriate diet. Behave. Take your breath. Come on. Lift and pour. You can do it. Move your body. Come on. Come on. Toast your ancestors. Drink up. Come on. Drink it. Drink it. Drink it. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. Drink it. Lift and drink it. Come on. Drink that health in. Drink. 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 Drink, drink your water. Take your breath. Take your breath. Take your breath. Lift and pull. Lift it. Move your body. Come on. Come on. Toast, Toast your ass after work, work, work. Drink, 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 drink. What? Drink your water. Drink, 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 drink. drink, drink, drink. Come on, come on. Drink your water. What? What? Take your breath. Lift and Move your body. Come on. Toast your ancestors. Come on, come on, come on. Drink, 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 drink. What? Drink your water. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Family, 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 family. It is so good to be standing in the congregation of the mighty, the home of the stubborn minority, the place where your hustle builds muscle. This is <laughs> Gianni Journey Media. Of course, you know I'm your host, Brother Hot Tim. Of course, you know this is a heart of a simple production all day, air day. And we want to give the Ujima babies a round of applause. Come on now. Come on now, y'all do better than that. Give it up for the. Come on now, this Ujima we talking about. Man, I get to throw on the green, get to practice my gratitude. Man, there's so much stuff that goes on with each of these principal family, and we just are scratching the surface in our journey down this. 20 i mean I, it's like i of course i'm gonna keep going but you know just just it's like every day i got to you know what i'm saying so i i i i thought my fault my fault let me finish let me finish when we strive 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 to blow up your old paradigms i'm not playing i'm not playing right listen family it is it's a beautiful Ujima. I don't care what is going on outside. It's a beautiful Ujima. Um, I mean, once again, it took me about two hours, two and a half hours to get ready for the show. Um, so, uh, schools were closed. And 
was crazy, family. I came in the house. I ate. And I went to bed. And I slept so good. Now, I went to bed so early. I slept so good that when I woke up, I thought that it was time for me to get up. But it was only 10 o'clock. So it's almost like I came in, I stepped in the door, and I went to bed. And it's crazy, man, because I woke up, I was like, it's only 10 o'clock. Oh, my God. Okay, all right, cool. Let me go to sleep. So then I went to sleep, and I said, well, damn, I don't need to get up early because everything's closed. You know, people be home, and you know, and those that want to see, they can see because I'm posting it. I post, I'm still posting you know what I'm saying? We ain't streaming like we was before. But people that want to see it can actually see the show. Those of those of you that's in the Giamme, um private group, you know, we're going to give them a round of applause. You can come in and check it out. You know what I'm saying? Um, those of you that know about GNJ.media, it's popping up on there. Um, sent out the emails. Uh, posted up in my chat. You know what I'm saying? Uh, no, post it up on my Facebook page, post it up in my story, post it on the Giamme's page, post it up on our Instagram. So those that's looking for us can find us, right? And we always are on Spreaker. I got thousands and thousands of shows on Spreaker that you go and check out. All you got to do is go look for G&J or look for Giamme Journey, or you can just type in Brother Hatim, H-A number two, T-I-M. The only brother with a number in his name, right? And, and you can find us. But today, we are on Ujima. The rant for the day is how do we practice Ujima without addressing our lack of cooperation, right? So I wanted to look at some of the reasons why it's hard for us to cooperate and then give some suggestions or have a discussion around some suggestions that we can look at as a tribe and as tribes, as community, as tribes coming together to form community, communities coming together to form cities, cities coming together to form states, states coming together to form nations. Uh, uh, you know, because for, for those of you that know, uh, I'm not one of those that advocate, uh, I was at one point in time, the nation piece. I do, I do understand the importance of the nation, but the nation requires a level of organization that requires I believe that requires to go through steps. Tribe is one of those steps. You know what I'm saying? Village is one of those steps. Hell, how you gonna run a nation if you can't run a tribe? Hell, you can't. How you gonna run a nation if you can't run a family? How you gonna run a nation if you can't run a tribe? How you gonna run a nation if you can't run a community? How you gonna run a nation if you can't run a village? How you gonna run a nation if you can't control a city? Come on now. So what we can do is not only inspire our young people to get involved in social things, but we could get them involved in learning how to run our stuff on different levels so that when it comes time for us to start dealing with others, they already have the expertise to run what we have and still be able to get and do other things that they need to, or if we assign them to, assign them to be able to do that, right? But it requires us to have a, have an understanding and have a grounding in cooperating. Anime, was that? Should I have made that the rant, baby? Should that have been the rant? I, no, but it wasn't long enough. Well, we got to do at least 10 minutes, anime. You know the rules, baby. You know the rules. You know, speaking. Um, So, before we get too deep into this, before we get too deep in this, what I want to do is I want to go to our... Facebook page, not the Facebook group. The group is private. Um, the page, um, I can share. I want to share the Facebook page if we could. Uh, let's. I'm busting out. We're busting out on the phone. Busting out. We're busting out on some theory. There you go. All right. Um, nah, 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 that's, 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 that's the, you know, y'all gonna like it, got five, we got five, five star reviews, you know what I'm saying, I was reading, um, Tim Ferriss the other day, Tim Ferriss got 
tens of thousands of five star reviews. Give me some, I get us some five star reviews up here. We can at least get a hundred. Come on now. But anyway, this is how I look behind the behind the scenes. So um, you know, you know, I you know, I, I I you I, I I try to impress y'all on a daily basis with these thumbnails. I mean, you know, that that's nice. That's nice, right? Then I had to, then I created this one, right? Here we go. Come on, let's look at it. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Actually, actually, that's one I'm gonna uh, teach you that because I actually just pulled that off of uh, I pulled that off of uh, Canva, right? But anyway, um, but you know, you look at our numbers. Our numbers is ridiculous. But you know, I've been like I said, this Black History Month, we've been throwing a lot of dope. You I ain't like you know for other you know other people. That's I'm throwing pennies. But for us, for me, for my meager budget, that's a lot of dope. But uh, they say our people reach is up to sixty two thousand. Post engagement, 4,494. I want to thank y'all, um, those of you that are, that's sharing and engaging in some of the conversations that might be going on. Page likes, we got 24 more page likes. Um, all right. So this is what I wanted to bring you to. Uh, you know, because Giamme is, uh, you know, we uh, subscribe to the Washington Post. So let's go through the briefing real quick. Because there's something on here that, that caught my attention. More snow and ice will hit the Midwest and parts of the South today. So I'm wondering, I'm thinking that it's hitting some of our, some of our, uh, our Southern cousins down there. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it's, it hit us because, like I said, it's closed up in here. But we got, we got whole winter storms reaching from Canada all the way down to damn near Texas. Okay. All right. And first off, it was warm. It was unusually warm all the way up. Then uh, we had a, a snow day a couple of days ago. And then now we got a, you know, I'm like, God damn, it look like, is the Ice Age coming back? U.S. military raid killed the leader of ISIS in Syria overnight. Um, I think he, I think they got his family too in some form or fashion, but y'all going to read about that yourself. FBI is now this is what called my FBI is investigating bomb threats at historically black colleges. Now, this is interesting, right? And what made this stick out to me was at least 16 HBCUs were targeted uh, on um, Kuji, six received um, threats on Emoja, and eight early in January. What we know is many six people, all of them young, may be involved, according to officials. They're investigating. It is a hate crime. Now, those that don't know, I have an ad that I'm running uh, for Two Black. Hold on. I created an ad for my Two Black line, or actually for Giammi's Two Black line, and I got the commercial running. Right, that's for I ain't gonna tell you. You should know who that is. Y'all got a good angle of that, right? So, um, so I'm running the ad, and what I'm noticing is that I'm getting. I don't get a lot of feedback. I usually don't get a lot of feedback from us, us. You know what I'm saying? But I get a lot of feedback from collabor co collaborators and white supremacists, and one of the statements came back was that what I am pushing as far as the two black shirt is divisive. This is divisive, is, is, is what I'm hearing. Like, I'm hearing questions like, do you got two white shirts? My response to the, you got, you got two white shirts? I say, no, I left that market for you. Enjoy yourself. You know what I'm saying? Hey, there's a whole two white market out here right now. You got statues and shit. I mean, these motherfuckers, I mean, these motherfuckers are sensitive. I'm like, God damn. So I'm... Divisive, right? You got Joe Manchin looking at poor white folks and telling you motherfuckers don't deserve no extra money. You ain't going to do nothing. But I'm divisive, right? I'm just saying too black. You know what I'm saying? And 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 we've been saying it for years, right? You know what I'm saying? But we just decided to put it on a t-shirt. But, 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 but then, because this is not, how can I put it? This is new in the fact 
that it is, how can I put it? These motherfuckers are very sensitive about this shit. So now they're looking, they're probably looking at the HBCUs that they are might not, they just now might be coming aware of, be like, this is divisive too. When did they start this? You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers are soulfully ignorant of history. And many of us, because I had one dude come in, because once one woman, I, I got to read, let me find a comment. I'm gonna, I have to find a comment. And and, and 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 read it. It was just it was just she was on a a ignorant tirade of she went from Anne Frank and Germans to they said that they would the next time they strike they wouldn't have to fire a shot and 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 this is very divisive and I didn't do nothing but push a laugh. So then one of her, I guess is uh, one of her compatriots who might be one of us say, you need to listen to her because she's an indigenous person and she, get the fuck out. This type, of, this is, it's becoming so problematic that a simple shirt with a Marcus Garvey or a Rosa Park or a Martin Luther King or it's divisive in a country, in a country that was grown, grown and fed divisiveness, has made, has become the country of greatness and oppression that it is ape that 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 it is through divisiveness. So when I'm doing it, it's divisive. Okay, I got it. I got it. I'm white and I say so. That's basically what that is. Let's give them, let's get them. Can the ancestors help me? Jones. Bitch, please. Thank you. Thank you. I thought y'all was going to give them a hand, but thank you, ancestors. You know what I'm saying? That was one of my that was one of my ancestors, brother Jay Jones. Let them know. Tell them again, Jones. Jones. Bitch, please. Stop with the madness. Truckers are blocking streets in Canada's capital. Y'all going we put this on 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 our thing, you would catch Spotify is growing more slowly than it thought it would this year. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they they did that hundred million dollar a deal with Joe Rogan, and Joe Rogan is bringing bringing that fire, and motherfuckers don't like it. You know what I'm saying? And, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Joe Rogan is being Joe Rogan. I mean, he's doing absolutely nothing different than Joe Rogan was doing on YouTube and wherever he was doing his podcast. And now it's an issue, and it's slowing them down. But you know, like I said. We're going to see what decisions they make. The president of CNN resigned unexpectedly yesterday. Y'all going to check that out. Facebook lost user for the first time in its history. Facebook is falling off. Uh, TikTok is whooping, whooping Facebook's ass right now. You know what I'm saying? Got old people on TikTok. TikTok it now. You know what I'm saying? TikTok, you don't stop. Right? Got my old ass on TikTok. I was on it for a minute until, you know, until I started seeing some of the shit that they, I'm mean, like, these motherfuckers, boy. You know what I'm saying? Just like with my ass. See, and this is what's crazy, right? Facebook, you know, Facebook need to do right. Look, Facebook, listen. If I was to pull up the demographics for who I am targeting for the two black campaign. The only thing you have to wonder is what in the hell are, am I even getting the responses I'm getting? I got Malcolm X in there. I got Pan-African in there. I got Afrocentric in there. Um, I got, uh, um, I mean, all the, the whole demographic that I have shaped up for me to send my ads out to, for the timelines to hit and the people to hit, Right, are people <clears throat> like me? I mean, I just I just got the stuff in there. If I could have put Kwanzaa and and Juneteenth, which they don't you know, which they don't have categories for, right? You 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 say you want to serve black folk, but you don't have any. I mean, don't have Juneteenth, don't have Kwanzaa. You know what I'm saying? Don't have, I mean, a, a, I mean, like I type Marcus Garvey in, probably somebody looking for Marcus Garvey or one of these Marcus Garvey's group or, you know what I'm saying? It was like, oh, sh no, no, get it out. 
No, no. Then 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 my ad have to sit for a whole day, day and a half to get reviewed to see. You know what I'm saying? So I'm sitting up here like, good grief. But then, and I'm saying all that to say this: How in the world could racist people get on, get my message, or get my ad if that is not in the demographics that I pushed? as technologically advanced as Facebook is, unless one or two things is happening. Either those demographics really don't work or Facebook is conning people and got some racist fuckers out there just clicking so that they could so that they could fulfill their part of the bargain. You understand what I'm saying? It's some it's some fuckery going on. Or, and here's here's the most dangerous part. White supremacists are studying y'all. Maybe everything is working the way it's supposed to. And maybe the demographic I'm hitting, they are watching. And just got to get on to say something. But hey, hey. It is what it is. Let's get on over here. We got to do. Let's go on and move. We got to keep it moving because I ain't got as much time on the wheels of steel that I used to have because we had to downsize here at Giami Journey. So I'm going to take a nice deep breath and I'm going to pull up something else for y'all. And, and anime, if you could, baby, could you get could you get the could you get my theme music together? It's the proper uh, proper time, proper time, proper time. Proper Proper for the day, proper for the day. And I want you to listen to this one very quick, very closely, family. Where God boils his yam, that is exactly where the devil roasts his fish. Tell me, what does it mean to you? Man, it's the problem. That's a good one. That's a good one. Y'all need to listen to that one. Um, for those of you that are on, that are in the Goose Saba Challenge Handbook, and Goose Saba Challenge Handbook is available on Amazon. You are gonna get your workbook on. It's actually a journal. You get your journal, and I have expanded. I'm waiting for my new copies to come so I can share. Is you can even get it in hardback for those of you that's serious. I'm, well, I ain't going to say those that with this is less serious, but those that want to be able to open it and not have to worry about it. But um, here you go. Today's date is 2-3-2-2-6. Two, two, two. Wow. All right. Proverb of the day. Once again, I'll read it for y'all. Where God boils his yam. That is exactly where the devil roast his fish. Woo, man, that's a good one. I'm so I'm kind of glad that we didn't have because I picked that one. I was like, I'm kind of glad I picked that one because we didn't have I didn't have the adventure today because I. For the younger babies, that will be well. Actually, I think the younger babies might get it faster than the you because fam, listen, please, elders, 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 start learning to use uh, folk tales around your young people. Start learning to use proverbs in your conversation and folk tales rather than giving the, the direct answers. Force our young people to start thinking. You know what I'm saying? And also, like for example, in uh the Warrior Handbook for Life's Journey. You know what I'm saying? You get this on Amazon as well as on um if you are if you are a uh a subscribe su subscribing member of Giami Journey, you get it free in your uh um in the package, you know what I'm saying? If you're doing, you know, like I said, if you go to gnj.me, it's uh, my fault, gnjmedia.support 
you know what I'm saying? You could go on and you get all you get access to all the stuff. But in here, I can't pull it up right away. I can pull it up, but I ain't gonna take that time. But in here, there's a part where every Giami member has to get themselves 10 proverbs. What do you mean? 10 personalized proverbs. It's like 10 of your favorites. I ain't going to say personalized, but 10 favorite proverbs that you can consistently use on a regular basis. You can throw them in damn near any conversation. Family, listen to me. If you want to stop an argument, if you want to, that one person that keep asking you shit and or hit them with a proverb. It does wonders. You know what I'm saying? Because now a person got, look, all right, cool. I'm going to ask you a question. But I'm going to ask you a question with a proverb. I'm going to ask you a question with a folktale. Start learning to use these crystal, this crystallized wisdom that our ancestors have left us. And let's start adding to it. You understand? Like, for example. For example. Give me an example, Brother Hatim. When I add it, you ready? Only a fool remains seated when an elder enters the room. Hi, Tim Original, goddammit. Hi, Tim Original, give it up. I know some people gonna be like, ah, ah. yep, yep, brother, that, that originated in Columbus, Ohio. That's right, Columbus, Ohio with brother Hot Tim, yep. That's one of my originals, right? I mean, because as you start getting older, and I did that when I was young, so I'm just waiting for them to start flowing now. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it was a situation going on where in our process, in our rites of passage, and, you know, with um, with Underground, at that time we were the Underground uh, Railroad, we wanted to make sure the message went across that when an elder enters the room, you're supposed to stand. So we set the example, and then we then then out of that came that proverb. You know what I'm saying? Now, uh, there we go. There we go. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. All right. So, um, anime, if you could, baby, please. What's next for us? What's what's on the agenda? Folk tale, oh, folk, folk tale time, folk tale time. Folk tale, folk tale. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Folk, 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 Do I have a folk tale? Yes, I have a folk tale for you today. And the folk tale is the walnut tree. The walnut tree. A walnut tree standing by the roadside bore an abundant crop of fruit for the sake of the nuts. The passersby broke its branches with stones and sticks. The walnut tree piteously exclaimed, Oh, wretched me, that those whom I cheer with my fruit should repay me with these painful requitals. Think about it. Tell me. Come on now. Think about it. Get the message. Get the message. Let me read it one more time, because y'all might not got that one. A walnut tree standing by a roadside bore an abundant crop of fruit. For the sake of his nuts, the passersby broke his branches with stones and sticks. The walnut tree piteously exclaimed, O oh, wretched me, that those whom I cheer with my fruit should repay me with these painful requitals. Requitals, or, you know what I'm saying? But I want y'all to think about it. Now, go on, solve it for yourself. Think about it. Folk tales, folk tales, folk tales. Word, word. Folk All right, folk so the folk tale, tale for the day. Folk now, what we use the uh, proverb, and the uh, uh, folk tales for are, are writing prompts. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, you know, um, writing prompts, right? Um, the, uh, so the, the, and that just gave me an idea. That just gave me an idea. That just gave me an idea. Writing prompts. Okay. Oh, I got it. I got it. It's in my mind. All right. So, um, so we covered the folktale of the day. We covered um we covered the folktale of the day and we also covered uh the proverb of the day, right? So now it's time for us to get to the magnificent <laughs> rant. Well, I don't know if it's magnificent, but y'all know what I'm saying. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. So let's get to it. Can we do the rant, please? Can I get my thing? Can can Anime, can you get everything set up for me? Okay, you got it. Oh, oh is it? Warhorn sounds. Warhorn sounds. And if I could, can I get that? I'm thinking, I'm thinking of, 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 of,
I'm thinking all the time, family. And right now, I am thinking. I asked the question this morning. Because I thought I wrote it down. I had to rethink about it. But it stuck with me. And I was like, how do we practice Ujamaa? Without addressing our lack of cooperation. Because cooperative economics is Ujamaa. Cooperative economics is Ujamaa. So the key, key term. One of the key terms. You got co-op. Cooperative or cooperative, and then you got economics. Cooperate, cooperate. How do we, how do we, how do we do this? What are some of the things that's stopping us from cooperating? What are some of the things? What are some of the roadblocks and some of the mindset states that are present that stops us? So I wanted to look at that. I wanted to kind of discuss that because Ujima, Ujima, is what in a sense develops the lifeblood of the culture. When Ujima, I mean, because like I said, a lot of other principles, you know what I'm saying? I mean, we need all the principles. All of them have their importance, but I want to focus on Ujima right now. Ujima is like the blood. It's like, better yet, it's like the heart that pumps the blood of the culture. And when Ujima stops working, right, the culture dies. So what we're trying to do right now is we're trying to get the heart of the culture pumping again. We got to get the heart moving again. We got to, you know what I'm saying? So I want to look at some of the stuff that might be hindering the cooperation, right? So in, in a little bit of research that I did, in a little in time that I had, you know what I'm saying? We looked at uh, some principles that led up to the, the, the creation of uh, Ujima or things that are needed in Ujima. Let me just read it. The Swahili, the Swahili word for cooperative economics or cooperative living, the correct, well, better yet, how do we practice Ujima without addressing the lack of cooperation that is flowing in our communities and tribes? Because even with some of the tribes, we're not, we're not doing that reciprocity. I keep on telling y'all that reciprocity. Yeah. And, and people, look, people going to catch you on. Y'all going to start hearing it later on, this reciprocity, right? That You know what I'm saying? As, as, as a starting point, what does Ujima actually mean? Ujima, the Swahili word for cooperative economics or cooperative living, the characteristics of cooperative economics are, here are the characteristics, a principle of sharing, a principle of caring, the principle of working together. Now, check this out. Let's do it. Principle of sharing. We must share with each other without expecting anything in return. Now. We need to be able to do that, but the culture needs to dictate the fact that there needs to be something coming in return. If I get water, right, you know what I'm saying, what do I contribute to the surrounding area, you know what I'm saying, so that I can make sure that the water that I took will not necessarily be missed. We got so many people that want to come in and would love to take care of this, would love to take advantage of this principle of sharing. We must share with each other without expecting anything in return. But the culture demands that we have to have in our mind state that when we receive something, we have to have in our mind state that I have to, either I have to pass something back to this person or I have to pass it on within that culture. See, because a lot of us, we receive stuff from people within our culture, but then we run right out and give it out to somebody else. Somebody outside the culture. No, we have to keep a flow within our culture before anybody outside of us can touch anything. All right? Principle of caring. We must care for each other as brothers and sisters. We must care for each other as family. We must care for each other's family. Now, I need to be very specific once again. Once again, because the concept that a lot of us wrestle with is that many of us are trying to be universalists when we first need to take care of home first. We don't need to save the universe. The universe is working fine. We don't need to save the United States. The United States is working the way it needs to work. We need to save our family. We need to save our tribes. We need to save our people. And once we start being able to do that, we will be able to help others if we so choose. But it has to start with us helping ourselves first. So the principle of caring, we need to care for each other as if we are family. And we need to be able to define what that family is. 
See, we become, we get these definitions and we start applying them to everybody because we're living in a multicultural society, supposedly, right? Where we see different people all the time and we want to approach everybody with this stuff, right? See, what makes Ujima works is that it's in a closed system. What do you mean, Brother High Tim? You can't just come in and out. There is a process for you getting in. You know what I'm saying? And once you get out, there's a whole nother process that you need to go through to get in. You, 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 you just can't go. No, you have to. It's a closed loop. And it's more. It's not like this. It's more like uh, the infinity symbol. You know what I'm saying? Constantly flowing within. You understand what I'm saying? It's closed. And there's nothing wrong with it being closed, which makes it makes it easy for the principle of sharing and the principle of caring to exist without being taken advantage of. When you open it up, you open it up for outside groups that can be like, well, damn, we could benefit from that shit too. Without having to put something. See, understand. The, the way we are being trained through capitalism, capitalism is about getting the most out of a system without putting a lot in. You want to put as little in the system as possible and be able to pull as much out as you can. This means that you strive to find a way to get your production costs down to so low that your profit rises, even if this means that you have to get rid of the people that depend on the money that you pay them. You understand what I'm saying? Um, capitalism demand, de de demands a race to the bottom. And the bottom is being able to pay the least and get the most. What Ujima says and Ujima works on is bringing a balance, right, to where I'm putting in, but I'm able to pull out. And I'm, I'm able to put in more because I'm able to produce more. I'm able to do more, so I put in more. But yet, I don't feel like I'm being robbed because I am benefiting from the entire system. I am able to see success within the culture. So you, But you have to close the loop. You have to establish those borders so that you can protect what's yours because people will always come in and try to extract more. Especially if you got principles of sharing and caring. Come on now. You got to protect that. Last one. Principle of working together. We must work together as a single unit to accomplish goals. We, we, we do need to work together. But once again, it has to be a closed loop. You know what I'm saying? It has to be a closed loop. Process getting in, process getting out. But hold on. We can easily see why this principle may not be followed in everyday life. Once again, we just explained. Like, you know, it's hard to practice Ujima in an open environment it needs to be practiced in a closed loop and built up so that then you can start doing external trade this is what a lot of people understand we we got people already thinking on a national level when they have not even just have not even figured out how to run the family the tribe um the tribe the community the village they haven't we haven't figured that shit out yet so we automatically want to go out and do international trade come on now you know, I mean, uh, unless you unless you shipping our products, you able to bring shit back, hey. But when they gonna start coming in, trying to look for ways to undercut your ass, I'm trying to let you know. Um, Ujima doesn't work well in the open system. It can work in a capitalistic system, but it has to be a closed loop because we could practice capitalism outside of that loop do you understand what i'm saying we can practice capitalism out here with everybody else but in here we have to practice something else we have because it's not working for us what capitalism do is it allows people to come in and take the best that we have and take it out take it out I'm, that's what it's about get the best for the for the smallest price that that i can so hey, that community over there, they got some geniuses over there. They got some talent over there. Let's go on, and let's go mine them. Do y'all not realize that y'all that our athletic programs are nothing but mines? And I ain't talking about M I N E's. 
or I ain't talking about um um I am talking about M I N E S minds, not M I N D S. I'm talking about minds. Do you not know that you got outside people coming in extracting vital resources? It amazes me that we do not look at our athletic the athletes that come out of our come out of our community, it amazes me that we do not look at them as resources. Valuable resources that we need to fight to hold on to. That we need to rally around and protect because, because one of them can provide possibly a hundred to possibly with some of them a thousand jobs. We don't look at it like that. You know why? Because we don't cooperate. All right, let's look at some of the reasons. Lack of true education. And when I say true education, I ain't talking about this shit that they trying to get you to pay for. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about true education. Education that is in that closed loop that I'm talking about. Like Giamme. You know what I'm saying? Where's your tribal education? Are you learning stuff? And are you being acclimated to your responsibilities to your tribe? And are you able to hold up your tribe? You know what I'm saying? And do what you're supposed to do. And also poverty, because a lot of us don't even know that we're in poverty. We we got so many trinkets and so many, we got so much shit that we don't even know we're poor. We out here living the best life, the credit life. And I, I'm guilty too. Out here living the credit life. You know what I'm saying? Lack of education. What do we know? really know about ourselves? What do we know about each other? Do we sit down and do we take time to really spend time and educate our youth to have those conversations, to have those circles where, where our elders can really address our young people? And it is happening, but we need it to happen more and we need it to be supported from that loop that I'm talking about. It, why? Because when we support it, we decide on what the curriculum is and what, what certifies somebody to be there. Right? Because there's so many hoops that we have to jump through to try to get our people the help that they need that it's almost not even worth jumping through them. This is why when people be like, yo, brother, I Tim, why don't y'all go for grants? Stop. We for profit. What we're trying to do is we're trying to create value in some of the stuff that we have that people out there would be like, I value that. This is why I'm sending emails every day. Because I want people, if something happens and they start missing the emails, I want them to realize what it is. You know what I'm saying? I want them to realize the value that we bring. Because every day in these emails, I'm trying to do lessons. Every day when I do these shows, I'm trying to do lessons. I'm trying to bring value into people's lives. So that we can become better. So that we can practice what we're talking about. And I'm trying to put that true education out there. I'm not the I'm not the I'm not the sharpest knife in the jaw, but I'm not dull either. You understand what I'm saying? And there's other people out here doing the same thing. Are you plugging in? Poor organization, no true insti no true institutional support. We have poor organizational skills. We're trying to imitate other people's culture and trying to do meetings in a way I you know. One of the things they used to, uh, you know, I ran away from when people start talking. We need to follow Robert's rules of order. Oh, nigga, get the fuck out of here. I'm, you know, what I'm saying, is that us? What? Well, how do we do it? You know what I'm saying? How, how how do we do it? You understand what I'm saying? And fine, fine. We need to be able. That's where that true education comes from because then we can start organizing in the way that is natural for us. Like other people organize in ways that are natural for them. I have never in my life seen so many people talk about the brilliance of pharaohs, but then do not want to fall up under any type of leadership. The shit amazes me. Talk about great chiefs. Talk about Mas Mas Musa was a king, nigga. You do not. Don't you understand that? This means he has subject. This means that people followed and received instructions. I don't understand. But hey, you know, you know, and of course there was councils and stuff like that, but yet still was a king, you know, but hey, poor organization and we don't have no true institution. We don't understand what an institution, I don't think we really understand what an institution is. An institution in a capitalistic society takes the place of a tribe, takes the place of a community. 
This is why when you go to some of these communities, they are incorporated. <laughs> this is why when you go to a church, it's incorporated. These corporations and these or these institutions are corporations that that act on that act for groups of people. So we need to establish those institutions that act for us and act for our cultural growth and protect our culture. I don't think they, they don't hear me. Fear. Fear. Fear of what could happen if we do organize. See, because that's been that's been ingrained in us. You know what I'm saying? Damn, I ain't trying to be like Martin Luther King. I ain't trying to be like Malcolm X. I ain't trying. I don't want my city to be bombed like such. Fear is another reason why it's hard for us to cooperate. Have you ever tried to organize a bunch of scared people? It just don't work. Well, yes, it does. Yes, it does. How does it work, Brother Hightower? You got to make them scareder than, of you than they are of the enemy. I have used that shit. That shit does work. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? When fear is in the room, you have to make sure that motherfuckers fear you more than the motherfuckers they talking about out there in order for them to do what they need to do, unfortunately. Or you can just get rid of all the, all the fearful people. But if they ain't going to go nowhere but go back to your community, I don't... See, we we in a, we in we in a, we in a horrible position. God damn, because a lot of scared people we they live right in our houses. Damn, how do you? I need some elders' wisdom on that. Call the elders. Somebody, somebody, call the elders on this one, please. Fear. That's the, that's the a major reason. One of the major reasons that we can't we can't use Ujima. Ujima and fear cannot exist in the same. It, because Ujma requires us to close off, which means that we can't have fear of what's going on or what's coming towards us. We got to be willing to protect it because people get upset when we start having shit for ourselves. They have always been upset when we start having shit for ourselves because we want some too. Y'all y'all got, y'all can't have it. They could be practicing, they could have been pra practicing divisiveness their whole life and I do one two black, two, two black shirt and all of a sudden, I'm Mr. Divisive. Oh, oh, y'all been having divisiveness all this time. I do a shirt that you, oh, you can't do that. Come on now. And y'all scared of that shit. Come on now. Where the warriors at? See, this is, see, this is why y'all need to be talking to these young people. Because some of these, some of these young boys don't fear shit. I'm just trying to let y'all know. I, You know what I'm saying? They don't fear shit. So what we need to do, we need to put them on our actual training ground and see if that's bravado or if that's real. That's why you take them out in the woods. That's why you have certain rituals so that you can see. And then you get them loyal to the family. You get them loyal to the tribe. And then when somebody try to come and encroach on what's feeding them, guess what they're going to do? But we don't think like that. Family conflict. It's hard for us to practice ujima on a fa I mean on a, on the basis on, on on in the basics areas because we have a lot of family conflict falling out about little bits of money you know what I'm saying little bits of property we we got a lot of family conflicts and we got a lot of people operating in fear that's head that's heading these families or has some say so in the family everybody see cuz we come from this shit everybody everybody got to say so even though JoJo been a fool his whole goddamn life, been smoking crack for 15 years, this motherfucker is supposed to come up into the family meeting and be allowed an opinion. You need borders. I'm just saying. Family conflict, right? When you don't establish leadership, anybody could come in and have a voice and be able to take everybody off of the agenda and move them forward. This is one of the things that we're learning with Giamme, with 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 people who people who hold the responsibility of accountability, right? It's like boom, they take some people are starting to take it on themselves, and you start having teams where where you have accountable people who are in charge of accountability within them circles. You only see because now where I want to get with Giamme is that I want the accountability person. To be a paid position. 
<laughs> I know y'all laughing. But yeah, it's coming. Uh, number four, lack of time and energy. You spend so much time working for others. You spend so much time building for others that when it comes time for us to do our thing and build our thing, you lack energy. Number five, misunderstanding of the situation. I speak to many people who do not even understand the situation we are in as black folk. They talk as honor they talk like they're honorary white folks. And like like all our histories, they talk like we are immigrants. Like we are immigrants and we chose to come to this motherfucker and we had it hard. Like everybody else. We got a lot of people misunderstanding the situation. We got a lot of people misunderstanding what happened in the 60s. We got a lot of people to misunderstand what happened in the 70s. We have a lot of people that misunderstand our history in America and also misunderstand our connection to Africa. Right? It's a lot of misunderstanding. Right? And that's going to take a lot of work. But once again, that's why you draw those borders. And this is why you have a process for individuals to get in. Right? You have a process for individuals to get in and and let me stress this. Let me stress this. I'm gonna, no, I got to say that. Let me, I got to write that down. I'm sorry. Let me take a break. Give me a break. Give me, give me, give me a second, anime. I say that for my tribe. Ooh, you're like, brother, I tell him that's divisive. No, it's not. That's called research. And I can't give it all away. Next, six, self-sabotage. Do I need to say any more? You know what I'm saying? We start doing good and we start looking for ways. Well, they ain't even looking for ways. We start filling ourselves and blow up. Self-sabotage. We are won't they say we are our own worst enemies. If you want to destroy something, it always is always best to make it start destroying it from within. Number seven, black leaders are ineffective. Do we really have those? Or do we have people that's assigned to us? Black leaders are, I mean, because even with some of the people, you know, I, you know, the, 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 the closest places that we got is in, 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 like, for example, conscious community or, and I know some younger mad churches, that's where the real leadership is and where they're leading people to praying for the next life. They, they're focused on the future. They're not focused on the now. See, this is why, this is why you need to, this is, this is why this is going to grow. Because a lot of people are starting to realize that the church got you concerned about the future when you when your now is fucked up. And Giami, mean, we trying to help you get your now together because as long as your now is fucked up, it don't matter what's coming in the future. You won't even be able to see it because you're going to be just too fucked up. Some of y'all going to die such wretched deaths, such fucked up deaths that heaven is going to move right past your ass. And you ain't going to be able to see it. You know why? Because you're going to be caught up in your personal hell. Come on now. Stop playing with me. Y'all y'all just, y'all play religion and shit. Stop it. Y'all just play spirituality. Stop it. Black leaders are ineffective. No sense of urgency. You know what I'm saying? We got motherfuckers still talking about, we need to wait. It's not the right time. The right time is now. See, I had the fortune of having to play the waiting game from my early 20s into my 30s. And when I played the waiting game, guess what? No one won. The collective I was part of didn't win, nor did I. But then when I found a collective that felt like me and I was able to put my mental power with them, shit. Man, let me, and I'm still rocking. I still rock with them. But anyway, I'm going to stop. The mentality of the average person is stuck in the past. Outdated customs and culture. See, many of us are still on the plantation. We just don't know it. And many of the uh, customs and culture that we that we practice, mm, mm, slave culture. That's what it is. We practicing, we're practicing stuff from a time when we was in bondage and many and and and, and uh, uh many of us are caught in that and we don't see no other way um number nine police harassment i don't need to go into that y'all already know about that 
because the police will fuck with us. You know what I'm saying? The police is going to be the first arm that come up against us when we start organizing. The police have always been used to control and 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 and, and to put us in our place. The police have been used to destroy any organizations that was making any progress in our community. Not just the police, but the legal system as well. Um, the police have always been the front lines of white supremacy in, a, in attacking us. Come on now. Media portrays us as this disorganized, uh, this not work. Media, media tells us the stories that we listen to rather than our elders telling our story. You know what I'm saying? We go to the movies to learn. We got people going to the movies learning about the Black Panthers. There's no conversation before they learned about their whole history of the Black Panthers from the goddamn movie. That's why that true edu that's part of that true education. So we got the media teaching our children. We got the media talking to our children rather than our elders talking to our children and teaching them the Proverbs. Rather than our elders sitting up there learning how to be entertaining with some of these goddamn stories or finding the ones that's entertaining and getting them out there and teaching our young people these stories so that we do not have to repeat the mistakes from the past as well as creating new stories to pass on to our children. We have our own media apparatuses. We just have to be willing to use them and support them. That's it. And you know, some of my support I might not even agree with, but they're black. And if I can, I get when I can. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Until I see them start doing some shit that's countercultural, then I have to move on. All right? So here we go, last, and then I'm done. Whoa, how? God damn, I'm on 26 minutes. All right. We use Ujima. By practicing cooperative economics among ourselves and our communities, making a commitment to contribute some of our efforts to serve and help others. Here are some examples of how we can begin to increase cooperation within our community. One, use our collective resources wisely. Use our collective resources wisely. Family, as individuals, we don't have a lot, but when we come together, we have a lot. I see that in Giamme. Just the skills and, and, and just being able to make shit happen like we have been doing for years is incredible. Prioritize community projects. Prioritize tribal projects. This means put make this shit more important or just important as your goddamn job that you go to. See, a lot, and, and we need to talk to people like this. You know what I'm saying? Is your job, what place does your job play in the freedom of your family, of yourself, your family, and your people, your tribe and your people. If it has, nope, then prioritize tribal and community projects. What do you mean? I ain't saying not go to work, but you you need to, you need to, just like you steal time to do some of that, some extra work and shit, you need to steal some time and do some community, make sure that the projects that we're working on are successful. Build unity among our community. How do we do that? We do that by using these cultural stabilizing holidays and we start bringing people together and stop worrying about the numbers and start working with the ones that we got. See, because if we make people's lives better, if we make the few people's lives better that are around us, the people that are around them will see their life being better and they'll ask them a question say, hey, man, you a lot different than you used to be. What's going on? Let me tell you about, you know, I'm, I, I clicked up with this this group called Giame. I did my initiation, man, and life is a lot different for me now. When we are able to start changing people's lives, we will have to go and have, we will have to have applications and wait list. But we have to be able to handle our business. We have to be able to demonstrate. But, you know, we can't do that if we ain't prioritizing our own stuff. And, and, and if we ain't prioritizing our own stuff, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be hard for us to build the unity in our community because we lack luster. We, our, our side hustle is our shit. You know, as, as Homeboy said in that one book, I came out of the book, he said, keep the main thing the main thing. A lot of us, we're keeping somebody else's main thing the main thing. Build systems of accountability and support. We need to start on the local, not even the local level, on the family and the tribal left level, start building systems of accountability and systems to support. 
I'm trying to tell you, family, you'd be surprised. Once, see, you'd be surprised how many people start falling off. Because, and I'm saying this, and I want you to listen. You'd be surprised how many people start falling off when you start having somebody that's like, boom, asking those accountability questions. I'm not trying to be a hard ass, but shit, here you go. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Where's the accountability? And be able to provide support. Every now and then, everybody needs a little bit of help. Can we provide support? Can um, you need to move? Can I help you? You know what I'm saying? Boom. You know, uh, you need you need help fixing your porch. You know, do you know how to do it? Do we, we know some? Oh, we okay. Boom, boom. We need to find ways to support people in our community. Number five: Commit to being accountable and supportive in the black community in order to build better communities for ourselves. Which is kind of repeatable. Well, but I just wanted to stress it. And number six, actively build up the stock of knowledge and wealth in our culture. Build up the stock of knowledge. Those young people, getting them to learn more about our culture as well as bringing new information in and start focusing on wealth building within using that reciprocity and that closed loop system. All right, family anime, did I do it? Did I do it? Okay, I guess I did it. Um, and could I get my theme music, please? I'm thinking all the time. Time. I'm thinking all the You're damn time. right. I'm thinking all the time. Can't help but I can't help it. Got a big head. Can't help it. Can't help it. If I wanted to, I can't help it. No. Can't help it. If I wanted to, I can't help it. No. But anyway, um, where we at? Where we at? Relax, brother Hot Tim. Oh, I know where we at. Okay, cool. Oh, and get the hell out of my classroom. Sorry. I know some of y'all some of y'all like habits and stuff. That's it's like a habit. So, all right, family, what we about to do, I'm, I'm going to give you a couple of seconds to go and get your life together. Get your mind together. Get your mind right, as they say in the streets. Get your mind right. You know what I'm saying? Minute by minute. Minute, minute by minute. minute. Hour by hour. Hour by hour. You lose your history. You lose your history. You lose your, history. You lose your power. You lose your power. Minute by minute. Minute, minute by minute. Hour by hour. Hour by hour. You lose your faith. You lose your faith. You lose your power. You lose your power. If it is to be, if it is to be, it's up to me. It's up to me. I feel good about myself. I feel good about myself. I feel good about the people around me. I feel good about the people around me. I feel goodness all around me. I feel goodness all around me. And it will follow me for the rest of my life. And it will follow me for the rest of my life. Cause I walk with good. Cause I walk with good. And I talk with good. And I talk with good. And I am good. Let it rest. Never let it rest. Until your good is your better. Until your good is your better. And your better is your best. And your better is your best. Black people. Black people. You were once great. You were once great. You shall be great again. You shall be great again. Lose not faith. Lose not faith. Lose not courage. Lose not courage. Go forward. Go forward. Uplift the race. Uplift the race. Harambe. 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 Did it on time. It's time for us to do the toast and toast this moment. We're gonna toast this moment, family. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do, we're gonna do. We're lifting up our glass, we saluting. We are saluting. Are you ready? Um, oh, my fault. For those of you that are interested in getting your ancestors on the list, because we toast our ancestors every morning at 5 45 a.m. I don't know how long we're gonna be able to do it on video, but it is a post every morning. At 5.45 a.m. on Spreaker. Uh, I have to figure out a way to get it on some of the other platforms. Um, 
right now it looks it's, it's going good so i guess it went because it went up today um i think it went up today but anyway i'll figure it out later but anyway without further uh those that want to get your assets on the list you can join our email list like you can join our email list i'm constantly sending out ways for you to get on the email list if you go to our blog at giamijourney.com if you click on the show for the day you understand what i'm saying um if you click on the blog for the day you could go down and you will see there's a, a place where you could go there's a write-up for the show and then you got a place where you could put your email address or you can look on the left hand side and the three lines that the meet um I, I, I don't know what it is the three lines you push those and it drop down if you're on your cell phone the first thing to drop down is um, follow Giami journey you could go and put your email address in there and follow us there or you could go to gnj.media and you could click and it will take you straight to um, our home base and you go and sign up for the email uh, list as well and you get a daily email telling you about us but then once we start corresponding you'll be able to send us about tell us about your ancestors let us know which ancestors you want us to put on the list and we have no problem we just ask you to be mindful of the fact that other people will want to put that their ancestors eventually as well too so we lift up our glass we salute the creator by whatever name you choose all choose call it creator we lift up our glass and we say ashe from there once again we come back to our ancestors and once again we already instruct you how to put your people on the list but what i want to say is this we toast every morning 5 45 um eastern standard time right now you can still catch it on gnj.media if you are in our private group on um, um on facebook on giami journey you can go and check it out um as well as of course we always stream it on spreaker so you could download and listen to it later um we lift up our glass for those ancestors we say our shame from there we move quickly to the present moment family right now we are on Ujamaa, I'm lifting up my glass and I'm saluting Ujamaa and I'm asking you as I do every day, I'm asking you to open up your reticular formation and seek out Ujamaa. I'm, I'm asking you to talk about Ujamaa. I'm asking you to share Ujamaa. I'm asking you to start building that, that, that loop, that closed loop of reciprocity in our community. Start finding people, like-minded people, so that you can start practicing that um in in our community because you will be surprised how it only it, it don't even take a lot of people family but we have to start putting meat on the bones of our culture either we got to shit or get off the pot point blank so now lifting up our glass lifting up our glass for this moment uh for those that don't speak the language U ujima no ujima um represents or means cooperative economics or the closest that we come to describe it cooperative economics reciprocity is the meiotic principle. Gratitude is what we teach the young people, um, the M7. Um, green is the color. We got, you see the Daily Toaster right there. You got the Daily Toaster. You go and get your shirt. We got the Daily Toaster line. We got the Kwanzaa 365 line. We got the Giami Journey line. We got the Two Black line. And you can find that at merch.gnj.media. Merch.gnj.media. Or if you go to gnj.media on the right hand side of the screen at the top, you'll see shop and you can click shop and boom, it'll take you right to the store. And you can pick what what line you want to follow. But anyway, so we got um, the color green. We got polarity is the hermetic law. We got the male name Yao and we got the female name Ya. We lift up our glass, we salute and we say Ashe. From their family, we move to our children. Our children's children on to infinity. We lift them up again. We toast them in advance so they could toast us when it's our time. We say, Ashe. For their family, now we want to lift up those family members who may be in need of that balance healing energy. We still got three on the list. If you want to add people to the list, you do the same process that you do to follow Giami Journey, to add your ancestors to the list. You understand? So we lift up our glass, and we want to lift up our glass. We got um, Brother Kwesi Lo Kenyatta. We got Elder Tony West. We got Elder Debbie Bowie. We lift up our glass. We salute, and we say, Ashe. And last but not least, we start with the creator, we end with the creator, and we say, Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Family, I wish you peace, power, joy, and 
100 years. And as we say in Giamme, as we say in Giamme, as we say in Giamme, are you ready? Okay, in, because this is our thing. And of course, too black! Woo, all right, Cleve, I, I, I see you. I see you, little brother. All right, family, we are out. Y'all go on and have a great day. Who taking us out today? Who on the wheels of steel? Uh oh. Sim on the wheels of steel. I hope y'all ready. So, with no further delay, let's give him our undivided attention and let's receive Brother Minister Nuri Muhammad with a warm round of applause. All oh, praise to Allah. Asalaamu Alaikum. Thank you, family. the merciful I bear witness there is no God but Allah and I bear witness that Muhammad is indeed his messenger I'd like to greet my brothers and my sisters in the greeting words of peace of I salam alaikum how's everybody today all praises are due to Allah I'm doing well myself striving in Allah's name to make my word my bond thanking Allah to be able to celebrate a Savior's Day to actually have met a Lord and a Redeemer for the black man and woman in the whole world if they only but understood. And I'm talking about the greatest black man that has ever lived other than God himself. The most honorable Elijah Muhammad. All praise is due to Allah for the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. Yeah, Columbus most dangerous up in here for the year 2014. Yeah. Grime Life Entertainment. It's got you calling on your Jesus, stomach full of pork chops. Wake up out of your sleep, it's getting beat, it's time I wreck shop. The enemy keep these picture from the scripture, blood to the decryptor. He put you with devilish ways, he got you display, you see the picture. Vision it clearly, may you too near me not to hear me. Just Chastisement divinely, coming from my lot so severely. Rain, snow, yelling, earthquakes, the world will shake. Let's watch these white devils fall, death is your fate. Vanilla killer, cause it's judgment day. Ain't no mistake, ain't running high. It's about time you pay for slavery. Look what you did to me and other black people. Made us to live inferior. Treat us like we ain't equal. Trick us with Christianity. Taught us about a trinity. Plans to lead us to hell. Blind with no unity. If you and me wanna break these chains, united we stand tall. Let's go, you hear Elijah's final call. We must follow his teachings. Let's make it through judgment day. Black woman, black man, unite white folk on faith. For the way she did her black slave.